Good, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Dennis Wiesenberg. I'm the interim provost and vice president for research here. And on behalf of uh, President Martha Saunders, I'd like to welcome you to our Elect Connect conference and the reception this evening. I um, want to thank you all for attending. Uh, there'll be more than, or almost 200 people tomorrow uh, at the conference. Is that the largest group that we've, we've had? And um, it's really a, a testament to the uh, work that our Learning Enhancement Center does and the uh, dedication of our faculty to improving their skills in teaching. So we're delighted to be hosting this conference, um, and I wanted to welcome you all tonight. Um, the agenda for this evening is we're going to uh, give some awards to some outstanding faculty, um, and Sherry Rawls will be making uh, the announcements of the award winners, and I'll be presenting the, the plaques. Good. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Wiesenberg. And we have it in very large print, so I can read it. <laughs> I want to echo Dr. Wiesenberg's comments and thank you all for coming. I know this makes it a really long day um, for everybody while all your friends and some of your colleagues are probably down in New Orleans having a great time right now, but you know, they're not here with us. So we're, we're having a much better party. So thank you all for being here. Um, we do have some awards we want to hand out. Last year after our conference, um, or at our conference, we realized that we had faculty coming in who were really interested and excited about sharing ideas with each other, working together, talking together, collaborating, um, and talking about what they do in the classroom that works, whether it involves technology or not. Um, so Amy Thornton, who's hiding over here behind all the, the shrubbery and everything, uh, really got started last year, right after last year's conference, to start thinking about what we would do this year. One of the things that we wanted to do was acknowledge and recognize that we do have outstanding faculty on our campus. Um, we get the pleasure of working with those faculty on a regular basis. Uh, we like it when faculty come through our door, uh, come in and have a cup of coffee with us and sit down and talk about what they're doing in the classroom because that helps us just as much as it helps our colleagues. So tonight we have an opportunity to recognize three outstanding faculty on our campus. Two of the awards will go for innovation in teaching, and one is for uh, exemplary online course design. So our first award for innovation in teaching, and let me tell you what this is about. The innovation in teaching award is designed to encourage faculty to implement new ideas in the classroom. In a community of learning, we all learn from each other, from teaching mentors and from fellow faculty who reflect on and continually seek teaching strategies that promote deeper and more engaged learning. Our first recipient is Dr. Elizabeth Harrison. She's an associate professor in the School of Nursing, and her course that was nominated was Nursing 331, Nursing Care of the Older Adult. Dr. Elizabeth Harrison, a Wisconsin native, has served as associate professor for the College of Health and School of Nursing for more than six years. Dr. Harrison currently teaches undergraduate courses in adult health, gerontology, and leadership. She's also a member of the Mississippi Nurses Association, National Academic Advising Association, Sigma Theta Tau International Honor Society for Nurses, and Western Institute of Nursing, Southern Nursing Research Society. When she's not teaching, she enjoys spending time knitting, reading, traveling, baking, and this is the best part, or with her two cats, Jane Austen and Emily Dickinson. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Her her proposal that, uh, that received the award, this is just an excerpt from the proposal based on one of her assignments, was to give students an opportunity to evaluate the impact of Alzheimer's disease on the individual. While a variety of teaching strategies have been, de been developed to teach information about the disease process and its treatment, teaching and learning should not end with the biophysical aspects of Alzheimer's disease. The assignment was created to enable students to recognize and develop an awareness of the suffering that often attends chronic debilitating conditions like Alzheimer's disease by evaluating nine self-portraits of Alzheimer's patients. Dr. Elizabeth Harrison, thank you. Our second recipient for the Innovative Teaching Award is Dr. Marsha Lay. She's a visiting instructor in the Department of Casino, Hospitality, and Tourism. And she has an interesting project because she's been working with Shanna Luke and Aaron Price and Bonnie Cooper over in our Think Center. And hopefully tomorrow some of you guys will hear more about that at the conference. And they've done quite a bit of work um, on the design thinking piece of getting students engaged uh, in, in, a, in the education process. So Marsha Lay joined the Department of Tourism Management College of Business 
As a visiting instructor in August 2008, her academic background includes a BS in Hospitality Management from Southern Miss, a JD from Mississippi College School, School of Law, and a postdoctoral bridge to business program at University of Florida. Dr. Lay is an active member of the Mississippi Bar Association, where she served as a member of the Women in the Profession Committee. In 2006, she was a speaker on the Evelyn Gandy Lecture Series, a program for continuing legal education. Prior to completing her JD, Marsha formed and operated Marsh Company, a food and floral catering business. Ooh, that? Yeah. Great. <laughs> she, <laughs> she has studied various cooking techniques at the Viking Cooking Schools in Franklin, Tennessee, in Greenwood, Mississippi, and completed a course in service excellence at the Caesar Ritz Institute. Whoa. Say it for me, Doug. Oh, Switzerland. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> and her. Her proposal, the coursework fosters business and tourism industry knowledge, experiences, and opportunities that will enable the student to develop and utilize critical and creative thinking processes, to practice team building and leadership skills, to experience traditional business environments and professional behaviors necessary to be competitive in the global marketplace. Emphasis is placed on strengthening oral and written communication, along with performing individually and in team leadership roles. Dr. Marshall Lay, thank you. Congratulations. And last but not least, for the Exemplary Online Course Award, we have one award. This award recognizes faculty who use online learning technology effectively by exhibiting best practices for designing and engaging online coursework. This award goes to Evelyn Green. Evelyn is an instructor in the Department of Casino, Hospitality, and Tourism, and her course was TM472, Casino and Resort Marketing. Now, Evelyn has kind of a leg up on other folks because she used to work in the Learning Enhancement Center, and she has a master's degree in instructional technology, and she's put those um, skills to great use and really has designed uh, and built a, a really effective, beautiful online course. Originally, originally from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Evelyn Kwan Green has almost 24 years work experience in higher learning with degrees ranging from a Bachelor of Science in Hotel and Restaurant Administration to two Master's degrees, one of Business Administration and a Master of Science in Instructional Technology. And she's currently a doctoral candidate in Human Capital Development and has homework tonight, don't you, Evelyn? Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Chapter four of that dissertation. Evelyn was named the 2011-2012 recipient of the College of Business BAC Teaching Service Award. She was the College of Business nominee for the 2010 University Innovation Award and 2010 finalist for the College of Business Joseph A. Green Teaching Award. Evelyn is spearheading the development and launch of the Southern Miss Online Undergraduate Casino Management Certification in fall 2012. The description of her winning course, Casino and Resort Marketing Amplifies What a High Quality Online Course Should Include. The coursework includes a variety of different learning opportunities, including live sessions with industry professionals, team projects, presentations, multimedia, and course reflection, many opportunities con to connect with the instructor and other students within the course. Green developed the Industry Professionals Assistance and Student Success Instructional Method for the Casino, Hospitality, and Tourism Online Courses. Industry executives provide input during course development to ensure an industry and a 21st century competencies-focused curriculum in which students gain firsthand information. Evelyn Green, congratulations. I want to congratulate our, our faculty on a job well done. And uh, we, you got a check. That's not a real check. Don't try and cash that because Dr. Wiesenberg and I might go to jail for that. <laughs> <laughs> but we do appreciate all your hard work and everything you do, so congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Wiesmer. Appreciate it. All right, please, everyone, drink and eat and be merry because we got plenty to eat and plenty to drink, so enjoy yourselves. Thank you.